Okay, guys, in this video, I will tell you how you can train by yourself in Code Forces and solve more and more simple problems there at first. And then gradually, you can solve more complex problems. Okay, guys, in Code Forces, as I said, you first you should go to problem sets. And in the problem set, there are two things that you see. This one is difficulty of each problem. And this one is the number of people who have solved that problem. But when you see that these new problems don't have any difficulty yet, it's because they are very new. They are in the recent contest and their difficulty is not set yet. But you see that all the other problems have difficulty. So here, what you can do is to sort all of the problems based on their difficulty. And you need to click twice to uh, sort it in the ascending order, and then you can start from here. You solve the first problem, watermelon. Its difficulty is 800, and it is solved by many people. Most of times, problems which have more people who have solved them are easier for you. So you can also solve them by number of people who have solved this problem. And you can see all these problems with difficulty 800. So you can start from here and try to solve all of them one by one. They are a very good uh, place to start. Also, if you wanted to read other people's code, you can just click for any problem, like for this problem, Beats Plus Plus. You can click here or even inside of the problem. You can click on the name of the contest. So this is the problem. You can write in here on the, uh, under the uh, people where the number of people who have solved the problem is shown. And here you can see the code of the, codes of the problem, people. If you want to see them in a specific language, for example, here the language is Perl, but let's change it. Here you can change the language to C++. For example, C++20, and if you apply it, you will see the list of people who have uh, solved it with uh, C++. And th these are all of the verdicts. Some of them have received compilation, or some of them have uh, received the wrong answer, and some accepted. If you just want to see the accepted ones, you can choose the verdict, verdict to be accepted. So here, you can see all the people who have solved this problem using C++ 20. And you can see their codes. For example, this person, if you see this code, this code is like this. So if you wanted to see codes of other people on any problem, you can do this. Also, most of problems have uh, tutorials that uh, they answer that who, how you can solve the problem is written there. For example, here you see this editorial. This is in the contest materials in the right hand side. And if you click on it, you see that in here, all of the solutions are written and you can check them. So while you are solving the problems using this, you can read other people's codes and you can read the editorials and see the solutions. Okay guys, I hope that I have helped you starting your journey of learning competitive programming. You need to train a lot to become very strong in this topic. For instance, if you see my own account, let me bring my own account for you. Shayan, as you can see my account in here, I started from here, my rating was here at the beginning, but over time, my rating reached here. And it's the same for most of the people. For instance, if you see the top rated person in the code forces, you will see that also his graph is like this. So don't forget that practice makes perfect. And you need to practice a lot to become really good in this area. If you enjoyed my video and you want to support my work and you want me to continue doing this, I'd appreciate it if you like all of my videos and subscribe to my channel, if you want. That would really motivate me to make more videos like this. Also, if you had any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. I will answer all of them one by one. Also, if you want me to make another videos about another topics, I will do that as soon as possible. So just tell me that what type of videos you want me to make and I will make them for you. So see you in my next videos. Goodbye.